Yep, that's my truck blocked in with all that trash. I told him I wanted to go fishing this morning. Hmm, he took out the trash. Good morning, everyone. I hope y'all had a wonderful weekend. Saturday, we just kind of hung out because I did my shot on Friday and you usually feel kind of like you have the flu and stuff. So, Saturday, I just kind of rested. So, I got up Sunday morning and decided that I should start working on the travel trailer and get it ready for my fishing trip. At one time, I thought I was going to cancel, but right now, I think it's back on. We'll just see. We'll see how the weather goes, and we'll see how I feel. So, uh, the first thing that I do for the season on the travel trailer is I climb on the roof, and I clean it. I wash it down really good, and then I take Dicor, and caulk anything that's got, you know, where the old die course cracked or where it looks like it may be leaking somewhere. And then I put on uh, a sun protection that lasts three to six months. But And I usually do that twice a year, the sunscreen stuff. Last year, it only got one because I got sick. I came home, you know, came home from that trip, fishing trip, so sick. So, uh, I get up there and there is a, I think they call it a sunroof over the shower. I don't know why they put those in RVs or any type of travel trailer or anything like that. But the more you cut hose in the top, the more you're going to have leaks. So I'm always, I was having leaks that started last season leaking in that shower and I got up and caught, you know, die cord and everything, thought I had it, uh, didn't. But anyway, it's cracked halfway across and that plastic ages. And I think we've had the travel trailer five years now. Time flies. Anyway, there was of course no way to get that part yesterday on Sunday. So we took some Gorillo tape and we taped across it very carefully because it's supposed to start raining like two cows pissing on a flat rock this week. Okay, so it's Monday and my husband's gonna pick one up where he works. They sell travel trailers and RVs. As a matter of fact, that's where we got this one. Um, so it probably will be a week or so before we can install it because the rain's coming. So hopefully that that Gorilla Tape will do the job and it won't go ahead and crack more. But we had a rain, a really bad rainstorm here a few days ago, last week. And I'm wondering maybe if that, it did that then. Cause I didn't notice it even when it was kinda you know, leaking a little, I never noticed it. But I guess it, the crack could have been down past the decor where I couldn't see it. And then it finally split across. So, it, it should have, I watched a videotape on doing, you know, replacing it, and it shouldn't be very hard. I just have to uh, pull up the old decor and unscrew it and clean it up and put the new one down and screw it down and then re core it. And then after I put the die core down, I'm thinking about they have this tape. I have some of it. I used it on a travel trailer that we had before this one. It was an older travel trailer that gave us so much trouble. Uh, but I have some of it left and I'm thinking about going and putting that on around everything where there's die core, putting it over the top of the die core. I don't know. Do some more research. If y'all know uh, about this tape that I'm talking about, I'm trying to remember the name of it. 
Well, once you get it down, it's almost impossible to get it back up. Uh, what is the name of that tape? Anyway, if y'all know about that, if I should put that down over the top of the decor where there's seams and all that stuff up there, you know, like around the antenna and, and the bathroom vent and stuff like that, let me know. And then I noticed in the bathroom, my travel trailer is really nice. And in the bathroom, I have this big, huge storage place. And it sits on top of my outdoor kitchen because it has an outdoor kitchen that only goes up so high. And then on the other side for the inside, they put all this huge storage place. Well, I noticed up in the corner that that paper or whatever they put on the wall is kind of bunched and crinkled, but it's just like a dot. Very small, so I don't know if that's more of a settle because of the trailer sitting in the driveway and not being, you know, at a good level that put bind it on it or something, or if there's water. I don't see anything on the top, but on the wall, say this is my storage area, on the inside, on this abutting against this wall of the storage area, is my uh, ice box. So right above it on the roof is a vent. So I don't know if maybe it could be leaking around that. I've got to take that plastic thing off and wash the die core real good under it. Oh, here comes my husband, I'm gonna turn this off. Okay, he came in and stole my sandwich. Uh, well, enough about that travel trailer. But I got an Amazon package. I am ordering some stuff that I need for my fishing trip and all. I got, for Christmas, I got a Rogue mic from my husband. And I thought it would just be like a plug and play thing for my uh just to plug it into my gopro but it's not okay first thing i want to show y'all this you can't buy it in stores anymore but you can still get it online this is the best soap if you have problems with your face breaking out or anything this is it I buy that like once a year. All right, then what do we get? I don't even know what this is. Oh, it's what is this? Oh, this is a lens cover for my GoPro. And little shields that go on uh, the lenses to protect them. Okay, cool. It's the whole kit. Screen protectors, or glass screen protectors and uh, cover. Hmm, I thought I ordered just a cover. But I got, I'm glad I got the screen protectors. So that's going to have to go on my GoPro. And this. And this is when I found out that I... See this mic? That's kind of like the mic I got. So I had to have a housing that the mic could fit on. So that when I looked at this one, I realized that this thing under here, and I forgot what it's called, I have to have it which plugs into my GoPro, and and then this plugs into it so I can use it. So there's, and that thing's 50 something dollars, so I gotta go get. And this is, let's see what this is. We got Amazon Prime, I'm so glad. 
What is this? <gasps> cool. Does anybody know what that daddy is? Kabochi? Kabochi or whatever you call it. Kambochi or it's a fermented tea that you make. And this is, you gotta have this. I guess this is the, there's a little slimy thing inside of there. And then the liquid, I think, is the starter. But I'm gonna have to read up on it. Because I'm gonna do that in a gallon container. Okay. This will work. And then I still have some other things I think that are ordered that I'm waiting on. But this is a good start. Good start. And then now I can give Hayden some more of this because uh, she uses it on her face, my granddaughter. Okay, so I didn't go fishing. But that's all right. And it's gonna start raining like crazy for the next few days. What does this say? Delivery. Okay, that was my Amazon telling me that they delivered my package. It was pretty cool because about 30 minutes before they got here, they sent me a message saying that there were eight, he, they were eight deliveries away from me. And then before I knew it, it was on my doorstep. Really cool. So we put out an old mattress for the uh, trash. And the reason I put it out is because it got peed on. And um, so I, I put it out and I put a note on there, trash are free. And it, wind blew it over and there was a little bit of water in the street and it got on the corner a little bit. And then not long before the trash man ran a truck pulled up and took it so and a friend of mine told me because i was telling him i was throwing that mattress away and he said that there was some stuff called like nature's own or something that if there's accidents on your mattress you just get it and pour it on there and then you set it outside to dry and it's taken care of i didn't know that but I didn't have a, a mattress, a waterproof mattress cover on it, you know, when kids have accidents. So, anyway, mattress is gone. The people will probably just buy, like, a waterproof thing and, and put over it. And I thought about doing that, but I didn't have a place for it. And I probably, it was a nice, comfortable mattress, and I probably would have used it in the RV, but for some reason... They made the camper short, too short in length. There's this little, <clears throat> it's a little bitty wall. Like, say, this is how wide the camper is. And then <clears throat> there's this little bitty wall about this big at the end of the bed, okay, that divides the bed from the kitchen area. And I have a TV on it in storage. And then the TV swivels. So if you're in the bed, you can watch it, and you swivel it, and you're in the living room, you can watch it, or kitchen, you can watch it. Well, they put that wall too short because my husband's feet hang off. He has to hang his feet off the side of that little wall. It's okay for me because I'm short. I'm 5'1". Well, that mattress wouldn't fit. So I think they, they messed up when they put that little wall in because that's silly. And the mattress that came with it's uncomfortable, but I bought a big, thick foam thing that goes on top of it that makes it okay. Anyway, that's what all's been going on.